In the wake of the Orlando terror attack, hundreds of people lined up to give blood, but many members of the LGBT community were barred from donating. Tonight, our Jackie Lucas tells us about a push to end the restrictions that block gays from giving blood. It was an outpouring of support as thousands lined up to donate blood after last weekend's terror shooting in Orlando. But LGBT Network CEO David Kilnick says it was pure discrimination when gay men were turned away. In this time where people need our help, and it's our own community which needed our help, we couldn't. We were powerless. That's all because of FDA regulations. Harvey Schaffler with New York Blood Center says there are tight restrictions when it comes to gay men donating blood because the FDA says they're at higher risk of having HIV. Historically, uh, gay men who had sex with another man even once since 1977 have been unable to donate blood. That FDA regulation is set to change. Now, instead of a lifetime ban, only men who have had sex with other men within the past 12 months cannot donate blood. The 12 month ban is absolutely ridiculous. John DeVito of Mastic Beach agrees. The 25 year old who is openly gay is running for state senator. He says he lied when he donated blood this week to make a statement. In Doing this act of civil disobedience, I informed the New York Blood Center immediately the next day what I had done. Uh, so instead of using my contribution to save three lives, it's sitting in a wastebasket. But New York Blood Center says it relies on people being honest for safety reasons, even though each blood donation is tested. And while the testing is very sensitive, uh, it still cannot detect certain viruses that might have occurred very, very recently. Meanwhile, Kilnick says blood donation regulation should be the same for everybody. And there should be a window period for every single donation of blood that comes in because HIV doesn't discriminate, people do. I'm Jackie Lucas, News 12 Long Island. The New York Blood Center says it will start implementing the new regulations for gay men next month. Now that leads us to our question of the day. Do you think the restrictions for gay people donating blood is discriminatory?